Yeah. You know yeah. how many people I used to be like, yo, show up and play this role. Play. They yeah. would have us waiting all day and not show up. So many people that were supposed to be in Money and Violence that I guess thought it wasn't going to be nothing and didn't show up. Or they'll shoot one scene and not come back, so we got to shoot that scene over. Yeah, crazy. So yeah, I'm that was definitely my most people. Yeah, that was countless definitely people that, that that let us down. But at the end, we did end up with a solid group of people that saw it through. You feel me? And yeah. I definitely want to appreciate every single cast member, no matter what role they played, because as a whole, we made the money in violence, man. Next, you no, know, you know, you, you know, because you know, I gotta get on it. Let's get on it, right? Let's talk about building something from scratch, right? You're building something from scratch and you're doing it in an era when Instagram and things are fairly new to people, right? So they don't mm -hmm. understand the power of social media. If you did it now and after the first episode goes, you're fucking, you're going to have a line outside your door. <laughs> Fuck your phone. When you, after you fucking finish eating your Cheerios and you fucking walk outside, your hallway is going to be flooded with everybody like, I want to play theater. Because they already know that, that that series could change their lives forever. But in the time that you were doing it, you still got people, once again, that don't believe in the vision the way you believe in it. Cause So yeah. I was going to be like, so what did, what did it take? You know, did you have to pay a couple people? You know what I'm saying? Did everybody do it for the love or did a couple people like, nah, I need a couple dollars for this to give you my time? You know, because um, people, people act like that when they don't understand where, where it could take them, when they don't understand the vision. I want to be totally honest, season yeah. one, the people that did it for us was, that ended up doing it was all for the love. I don't think we had okay. any funding. We was we was down. That that was like our last shot, fourth quarter. The the right. movie. Got we, it. Remember, remember everything I told you we invested in. This yeah, was man. like this all was in. like yo, all in, all in. So we didn't have it to pay anybody. So everybody and I want to, I, I want to quote. I want to say like even the venues we used, the building we used, everything yeah. was like the super let us rock. Like everybody was holding us down, and it was a lot of God. Like it would be scenes mm -hmm. where like we'll fake a shootout. And I swear to God, every time we'll fake a shootout and like for some reason a cop car will come by or an ambulance car will come by <laughs> and we'll just catch it. Like yeah. <laughs> if y'all go back and watch Money and Violence, yeah, yeah. Right. When, Miz and, when Miz and Rafe went in and robbed the pawn shop and they yeah. left, there was two cop cars sitting outside. That shit right. looked ill, but it just happened that way. We <laughs> It yeah. be like that, bro. Nine into God. Business, baby. Yo, yeah. Matter of fact, while you on it, yo, bro, what, what yeah. was one of your favorite moments on set? Or one of what what is your favorite scene recording? Me recording my favorite scene. Um, 